Hello everyone and welcome back to Houston Texans franchise. To start this week, we have a breakout defensive lineman and that's going to be Jonathan Grenard. Jonathan Grenard has been really, really good for us, honestly, and I would love to get him star development. Currently, he's just at normal development, and I believe he's only 25, so he's pretty young, definitely has some time to develop, and has been our best pass rusher so far, so I'm pretty excited about that opportunity. The next one is about having a short week, as I believe this is a Thursday night game, or we're coming off of some type of short week, and uh, yeah, talking to Justin Britt, the center, about that, and sort of where our focuses lie when going up against the Eagles this week. The Texans are now three and four on the season. So just under 500 with an opportunity, obviously, to go to 500 today against the Eagles. So definitely not out of it by any stretch, but it's not looking great either. So we need to beat the Eagles and commit one or fewer turnovers which is easier said than done with Davis Mills at the helm. We are in Houston today. They've got the dome closed up, so it will be completely indoors. No wind to worry about whatsoever. Last week for Jalen Hurts was 317, two touchdowns and a pick. A really, really nice outing for him. And uh, Davis Mills is not going to show his stats, thankfully, as he has been really, you know, mediocre at best, I would say throughout most of this season. But yeah, Eagles obviously a really, really good team. They've got, you know, Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, uh, just Dallas Goddard. I mean, Miles Sanders, I could, I could go on. Their offense is extremely high-powered, and our defense is extremely bad at stopping extremely high-powered offenses. But we are underway here in Houston as the Eagles will start with the ball, taking a knee in the end zone. And that will bring out Jalen Hurts. We got to see his stats from last week. Now we'll get to see his stats on the season and see how he is performing. 2,000 yards, 12 touchdowns to only two interceptions. So a really good start to the year for Jalen Hurts. Out of the shotgun on the first play. In motion. It's a fake and then a, it's a double fake actually. And then dumped off by Jalen Hurts. And that goes out of bounds. Second and 10. Hurts on the read option. He'll keep it. This is something we'll have to look out for as he's got definitely one of the greatest running abilities in the NFL. Third and four now for Hertz. Some time to throw. Grenard hits him as he gets it away. It's a jump ball, and Petrie can't come down with it, but it is knocked away. That'll force fourth and four, and the Eagles will have to punt. That brings on Davis Mills and the Houston Texans offense for the first time today. Uh, contrary to the Jalen Hurts stats, we've got nine touchdowns to 12 interceptions and 1,600 yards even for Davis Mills. Definitely not a great season for him. Handoff on the first play to Damian Pierce. He's got some room to work up the middle. That's a pickup of about five. And Damian Pierce, almost to 500 yards, will likely reach that mark today. Mills, open across the middle is Nico Collins. And he has embraced this new wide receiver one role and has performed quite well in it. First and 10, handoff Pierce from the 50. And he's got a pickup of three on this one. And Ty Johnson in the backfield this time. We'll hand it to him. He's got nowhere to go. Third and six now. Davis Mills back to pass. Looks to the right side of the field, and it's intercepted. That's C.J. Gardner-Johnson on the interception. It was thrown into double coverage by Davis Mills. Just did not see the defensive back there, and it's intercepted. The Eagles will take over. Second and ten, handoff Sanders. He's brought down very quickly. A great play by the blitzing Jalen Petrie. That forces third and ten from the 48 as Hurts to throw. Dumps this one off. It's caught, but brought down very quickly. Only a pickup of about seven, and that'll force a fourth down. Houston will retake the field, or the offense will at the very least. Hand off Damian Pierce. He goes nowhere. I just can't really get anything going on the ground so far today. Still very early, though. Second and 10 now for Mills. He'll throw. He finds Equinemius St. Brown. He's brought down at the 20-yard line, setting up a much more manageable third and two. A fake to Pierce this time. Rolling right is Davis Mills. Under pressure. It's caught by Equinemius St. Brown. It was intended for Nico Collins. The throw was terribly inaccurate due to being under pressure and on the run. But Equinemius St. Brown picks up the ball basically off the turf, it looked like, and makes the reception for a big gain for Houston. What a play by Equinemius St. Brown. He was a, a great signing earlier on this season. Second and 10 now for Damian Pierce. He's got some running room up the middle. Haven't seen a ton of that so far here in the first quarter. 
First and 10 from the 36 now. A fake to Pierce, but he sacked immediately. Davis Mills goes down. That is Edwards getting credit for a half sack. I'm not sure who else would have been involved there, but either way, Mills, a big loss there. Damian Pierce will get one yard back, making it a very difficult third and 17. Perfect accuracy from Davis Mills, but it still is overthrown to Nico Collins. And we'll bring on Fairbairn for a 60-yard field goal attempt. Try to get some points on the board. It's up. It is good. Three points for the Houston Texans. We will take the first lead of the day. Just really unfortunate. It was just out of reach of Nico Collins on the play before that as the Eagles retake the field. First and 10 from the 25. Hurts back the throw, and he will dump this off to the right side. That's Devontae Smith on the reception, it looks like. And Hurts out of the shotgun this time. Read option again, but he runs back into the defenders. Neville Hewitt will bring him down. Only a pickup of about two. Third and two now. Another read option for Jalen Hurts. All sorts of room to run. Brought down by Jonathan Owens and Derek Stingley. First and 10 from the 43. A design screen. It's thrown for Miles Sanders, but it's deflected by defensive tackle Roy Lopez. He's the only defender in the vicinity that recognized the screen, and he made a great play. Second and 10 now, as Hertz has Dallas Goddard wide open across the middle of the field. We keep leaving our middle linebackers guarding these big tight ends, and it really is just killing us. First and 10 now for Hertz after that big pickup, and it's going to be Goddard again, this time covered by Jalen Petrie, but it won't matter either way. Second and three after the big gain of seven, and that's going to be incomplete from Jalen Hertz. That'll set up third and three. Now in the second quarter, Hertz to throw. It's another screen, and Christian Kirksey is the one who reads it this time, bringing down Miles Sanders in the backfield, and that will force a fourth and eight. Some great play by this defense. They played really well last week against the Titans and honestly playing to a similar level here against the Eagles. So really it's just a matter of if our offense can keep up as the defense has really shown signs of improvement here in the last few weeks. Davis Mills will come back onto the field and it's going to be a fake to Damian Pierce and then we'll dump it off to him and he can't make Darius Slay miss. And he's got a pickup of four, second and six now. Another handoff, Pierce, and he's met quickly in the backfield. Third and seven, Mills to throw. Finds Nico Collins up the middle. Nobody was covering him. That's an easy first down for the Texans. Nine minutes left here. Make that eight and a half in the first half. Handoff, Pierce to the right side, finds nothing. And in fact, will lose two yards. Make that second and 12 now for this Texans offense. Mills takes the snap to throw this time. To the left side has Nico Collins, who had a step on a couple of defenders there. Makes it a much more manageable third and three. Mills to throw again. He's gonna dump this off to Brevin Jordan. He's actually the third string tight end. He may be in due to some possible injuries. I know Jordan Aikens has been injured a couple times this season. First and 10, handoff. Ty Johnson, he's got some running room, and he's got a good pickup here. About eight on that run to the 37 in Philadelphia territory. Third and two now from under center. Handoff, Damian Pierce met very quickly. He gets maybe a yard, but is short of the first down. A great stop by this Eagles defense and Fletcher Cox specifically. Fourth and one, the Texans will go for it. It's a handoff to Troy Hairston, in the fullback, and it's blown up in the backfield, and the Eagles will take over on downs. We decided to, you know, really try to go for it there on the fourth down, and we really did believe in it. But the Eagles blow it up, and it will be a handoff to Miles Sanders makes a man miss. That's a good pickup there of about eight yards. Second and two now, as Hertz will be back to pass throws this very quickly. That's Quez Watkins on the reception, and he's got a first down. To the 47 now are the Eagles. And takes the snap, handoff to Sanders, brought down very quickly by Christian Kirksey and company. And that'll force a second and 11. Hurts out of the shotgun. He's back to pass this time, dumps this off to Miles Sanders. And he's brought down after a pickup of about four, make it third and eight from the 49. Hurts to throw, dumps this one off. It's Quez Watkins again, and he can't get the first down. That'll force a fourth and one, and the Eagles will punt. The defense really is showing up today. Let's see if we can get some offense going, maybe get a touchdown before we head into the half. 
First and 10 from the 8 after a very good punt from the Eagles. Across the middle of the field, that's Equidemia St. Brown. A good pass there from Davis Mills. And that will probably lead us to the two-minute warning, and it does. Davis Mills to throw. Equinemius St. Brown across the left side of the field. Can't quite pick up the first, but does have a pickup of nine. And that will be to the 37. A minute and a half left here in the second quarter. Mills to throw. Finds John Mechie. He's been fairly quiet so far this season. Getting some more snaps with Brandon Cooks being gone. And Nico Collins with the reception on this one. A pickup of four. Second and six. A minute and 15 seconds remaining in the game. Mills has Damian Pierce wide open across the middle of the field on the short route there. And that will be a first and 10 into Philadelphia territory. Mills back to throw again. Finds Nico Collins streaking up the middle of the field. He's got a good game. We're into the 25 of Philadelphia. And we will burn a timeout. 44 seconds remaining. Davis Mills back to throw. Has Nico Collins with a step. He can't come down with it. It's knocked out of his hands, and now it is second and ten. Mills to throw again. Has a decent amount of time. This one's intercepted! He's looking for Equinemius St. Brown, but instead finds a Philadelphia defender, and this one is going to be returned for a big gain up to nearly the 45. Still in Eagles territory, but a bad interception there by Davis Mills. Just did not put enough air under that to reach Equinemius St. Brown. And now the Eagles will have a chance to score before the half. And wide open over the middle of the field is Devontae Smith. And he's got a big reception there. They are already in field goal range. First and 10 now for Jalen Hurts. And he will dump this off to Miles Sanders. He gets out of bounds. And 16 seconds left. 20, from the 28 are the Eagles. And to the left side, Miles Sanders, he gets out of bounds again. First down, Eagles. 11 seconds. It's really end zone or bust here for the Eagles, although they do have some timeouts. They're going to run another screen play, and it's blown up quickly by Derek Stingley Jr. Miles Sanders brought down. They'll call a timeout, and they will settle for a field goal going into the half. That'll make it 6-3 to three at halftime. Maybe our lowest scoring game to this point headed into the half as the Eagles will have the lead. Really unfortunate turnover there at the very end for the Houston Texans as that really should have been us with at least the six, if not possibly 10 to three. But these mistakes happen and we'll just try to avoid them in the second half as we are underway and we will be receiving to start the second half of this game. Come on, Smith in the end zone. We'll take a knee. And from the 25, Davis Mills, Damian Pierce, and the Houston Texans offense will take the field. First and 10 from the 25, Ty Johnson to start the second half. He gets nothing. Probably loses a yard, but they'll say he got back to the line of scrimmage. It's third and 10 now. Mills across the middle finds Equinemius St. Brownie short of the first down to gain. Fourth and one now. Will the Texans elect to go for it again? They will. And off the offset eye, a handoff. Damian Pierce, he's up the middle. He's got the first down and a little more. Eventually going down at the 39, but a big first down pickup there for the Houston Texans. Second and nine now, and a pass to Equinemius St. Brown. He's got a pickup of about eight. That'll force a third and two from the 47. Up the middle, Damian Pierce met by Fletcher Cox and brought down quickly. And that is fourth and one. We've gone for it twice already. Why not do it again? as Davis Mills does not like what he sees, is planning to change the play here. And Will, it'll be a throw, and it's caught by Brevin Jordan. We've called his name a couple of times now today, as that is a first down for the Houston Texans. At the 49, technically in Philadelphia territory, Damian Pierce got some room to run, gets a good block from Nico Collins, and has a pickup of about 10. They'll call it just short of the first down marker. Second and inches, handoff Damian Pierce again, makes one man miss, and then is brought down by a gang of... Eagles defenders, but that will be a first down. Out of the backfield again, Damian Pierce, and he's got a good gain here. About four yards, they'll call it five. O.J. Howard injured on this play. We may see even more of Brevin Jordan then. Handoff, Ty Johnson. He's got some room to work on the left side. John Mechie could not hold his block a second longer. Had he been able to, that maybe is a touchdown as O.J. Howard's injury is not super serious. Damian Pierce with a reception on third and three. First down, Texans. Offense looking pretty good here in the first drive of the second half. Mills to throw, and he'll dump this off to Damian Pierce. Nearly jumped the route, did the Eagles defender, and that's a good pickup there. That's Epps that almost jumped that. Third and one now. 
Mills to hand it off to Troy Hairston. He can't get the first. Fourth and inches from the 12-yard line. And we're going for it again. Offset eye formation, handoff, Damian Pierce. He's got the first down and quite a bit more. Can't punch it into the end zone, but does get to the six. I thought he was at the five. They'll mark it at the six. Second and goal from the six. Handoff, Ty Johnson. He's met in the backfield. And a loss of one there, forcing a third and goal here for the Houston Texans. Mills back to throw. A little bit of a blitz here from the Eagles on the run. Davis Mills, and he's sacked. He can't get the ball away in time. And we, unfortunately, from the 17, will not be able to go for it once again on fourth down. Kaimi Fairbairn comes on, kicks the field goal, and we have ourselves a tie game. It is 6-6 six to six after the long first drive of the Texans coming out of the half. And now we'll see the Eagles offense for the first time in the second half as we wasted basically the entire third quarter. First and 10, Hurts to throw it, almost intercepted by Steven Nelson. That's a pick six, surely, if he comes down with it. Second and 10, third quarter about to end. Jalen Hurts to throw off his back foot, finds his target there. That's Smith on the reception, and that will bring us into the fourth quarter. Third and four, Hurts to throw, finds Dallas Goddard along the left side of the field. Good gain for him, and a first down for the Eagles. From the 41, empty set for Jalen Hurts. Back to throw. Grenard blitzing on this play. Remember that he's trying to get star development in this game, and we have not yet seen a sack from him. So hopefully he's got the tackles for loss or some other statistic there. First and 10 now. And almost intercepted once again. Derek Stingley Jr. can't come down with it. And that'll be second and 10 for the Eagles. Two plays that really should have been interceptions for this Houston defense. A pass this time to Smith. He's brought down, but he does have the first down on the play. But there is holding, and it is offensive holding, and that will bring them back. Second and six after that call. And a pass to Miles Sanders this time. He's got a good gain. He's to the 23 in Houston territory. Nearly in the red zone already are the Eagles. And Hurts back to throw. He's got Dallas Goddard to the right side, met quickly by Jalen Petrie. That's only a pickup of two. And this time it'll be a handoff to Sanders. He's got some good blockers ahead of him, and he's going to get into the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders has not done a lot today. Got some really good blocks by his receivers that time and is able to punch it into the end zone. That's A.J. Brown and Quez Watkins throwing him those blocks. And the Eagles... We'll take a seven-point lead. It's now 13 to 6, eight plays, 61 yards, and it did not take them nearly as long as it took us to get that field goal. First and 10 now, Damian Pierce on the carry. He's got a pickup of about five. Second and five from the 29. Seven minutes left to play. Damian Pierce on the run again. Another decent game, but this time only a pickup of three, and that will force a third and two. And on that third and two handoff, Damian Pierce, and he can't get the first down just short. It'll be fourth and one, and you already know we're going for it again. Davis Mills from under center in the I formation. Handoff, Damian Pierce. I think he's short, and he is. The Eagles will take over after a failed fourth down conversion from the Houston Texans offense. I really had a lot of confidence in that. Probably not the correct time to do it, though. As Jalen Hurts will throw in this situation across the middle of the field, wide open, Devontae Smith. And he is brought down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Hurts out of the shotgun to pass again. Has all kinds of time to throw. Rolling to his right. Time's running out. And that's Jonathan Grenard with the sack. That's one that he needs. I, I can't remember if he only needed one or if he needed two. Either way, he starts with one. Second and goal now as this will be a handoff to Miles Sanders and met in the backfield by Jalen Petrie and Neville Hewitt. Third and goal from the 14 now for the Philadelphia Eagles. Hurts running away off his back foot across his body. Dallas Goddard makes the catch, but it's only good for a gain of four, and that will force a fourth and goal. But the Eagles, crucially, with this field goal, will take a two-possession lead. It's now 16-6 in favor of the Philadelphia Eagles with only four minutes left to play in the game. Can Davis Mills make some magic happen? As to his left, he'll find Equinemius St. Brown. He's brought down after a pickup of about nine. 
third and one after a failed pass completion on second and one. Nico Collins with the reception. That's scary as the safety was right there. And it'll be first and ten from midfield for the Texans. Empty set. Davis Mills to throw. And across the middle of the field, it's inaccurate, but it's not intercepted. The interception is dropped. Second and ten. Davis Mills to throw. Has some time. Finds Nico Collins, who is able to come down with that through contact. And we'll have a first and ten from the 34. We need to get into the end zone very quickly. Mills to throw. And he overthrows Equinemius St. Brown, who maybe had a touchdown with an accurate pass. Mills to throw again to the right side. It's inaccurate again to Equinemius St. Brown. That'll force third and ten. Davis Mills to throw once again. This time an accurate pass to Nico Collins. And that will bring us to the two-minute warning. A first down to the 16 for Houston. Mills back to throw again to the left side. Inaccurate once again. Davis Mills is just not clutch. Back to throw once more to the left side inaccurate again Davis Mills third and ten and to the back of the end zone it's Nico Collins he has it broken up great defense there from the Eagles and the Texans will have to settle for a field goal here to try to make it a one possession game and hopefully get a stop from the defense this will make it 16 to 9 in favor of the Eagles but definitely still a winnable game but one first down for the Eagles will win the game. Houston needs to come up with a big stop here to even have a chance to get the offense back on the field to get the touchdown to tie the game. And Miles Sanders on the handoff. He's already got the first down. He's got a hell of a lot more. Steven Nelson will bring him down, but that's a huge gain for the Philadelphia Eagles. Kyle Long is injured on this play. And a handoff. Just kidding. It's an option. Jalen Hurts keeps it. And the Eagles ha did actually have to use a timeout on that play due to the injury. And a handoff Sanders as we will blow our second timeout on this one. Third and nine from the 41. The Eagles. And it's a read option. Jalen Hurts keeps it. He's got the first down. Derek Stingley Jr. can't force the fumble. That was our only hope at that point. And with that first down, the Eagles will win this game as they take a knee to end it. The defense really gave it their all. I think they played quite well. They held this super, super high-powered Eagles offense to 16 points. But the offense could only muster three field goals all game. Not a single touchdown across the board. Jonathan Grenard, though, crucially, will get his star development. It was only the one sack that he needed. So we will get him to start development, which is great for our future. But definitely a disappointing loss here. A super winnable game that the offense just could not keep up uh, with our defense. Our defense, I feel like, played really, really well. A couple missed interceptions there, but you're, you know, you're not going to get those every single time. And really, I think this one comes down to the offense. Davis Mills had two interceptions to zero touchdowns on 260 yards. Damian Pierce, 21 attempts, only 55 yards, 2.6 average. Really bad day offensively, just all around. Nico Collins had a great game, though. 8 for 118. No touchdowns, obviously. Equinemius, 7 for 95. Honestly, a decent day through the air for the wide receivers. Um, just never was able to punch it into the end zone. A lot due to Davis Mills. On that last drive, Davis Mills had like six inaccurate passes. And I believe only one was caused by pressure. So, yeah, just a really poor performance from Davis Mills all around. Nico Collins has an upgrade, and we will be giving him the slot upgrade, try to improve some of those things. He does get plus two catch in traffic and plus one catching, which is huge, and a, a boosted medium route running, which is never bad. Uh, as always, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. The Texans will fall to three and five. Next week, we'll go up against the New York Giants. I hope to see you guys there. We'll take a look at Jonathan Grenard hitting star development. I really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.